Rio Olympics uh, have finished since uh, a few months. Uh, we saw very astonishing things, uh, such as, for example, the results of Michael Phelps and Usain Bolt. But we can see also the Olympics from a different perspective, that is the project management perspective. So, uh, from this perspective, we have to start from uh, a first thing, that is the astonishing result of uh, uh, Team GB, that is uh, the UK. Uh, UK uh, scored uh, second and uh, with uh, 67 uh, medals. On the opposite, we have also to consider also the results uh, of India. Unfortunately, India scored uh, 67 in the world with just uh, two medals. So, uh, what are the, ca the causes behind these different uh, results? The results of UK are rooted in the recent past. Everything started in 1996 during the Atlanta Olympics. At that time, the UK was able to win only 15 medals, one of the worst results of the history of the UK. So it was time to change. The idea was to use, for example, the first idea was to use the funds of the national lottery. But we know that money very often is not enough. So they changed completely the managerial approach in managing the Olympic Games. So the idea was, let's consider sports as a project. So every sport had a specific target to reach. And in order to reach this target, there was a study behind this. That is, first of all, let's see, for example, the historical performance of a specific sport, then let's see the current and the future or prospect athletes, and then let's see the managerial capabilities of a specific sport. In this way, for example, they assign target to the specific sports, and then they monitor, for example, if the target has been reached, not only during the Olympic, that is once every four years, but also during the main national and international events. The other idea was, uh, let's not consider sports uh, from an independent and individual perspective, but let's put them all together. So let's consider the different sports as a project, and then by putting together, we have the so-called so program. By having the program perspective, we can compare the different performance of the different sports, and then assigning the resources, so assigning the funds, uh, based on the performance of the different sports. By putting the different sports together in, in a program, uh, you create also, you increase also the level of competition between the different sports. So at the end of the story, we can say every single sport has targets to reach, so clear objectives. Then we monitor the different targets. Then also we monitor also the managerial capability to manage the sport in a professional way. What about India? Well, the results can be explained by using two perspectives. One is more related to the culture and tradition of India. The one is more related to managerial and project management actions. From a cultural and traditional perspective, we have to say, first of all, that India traditionally was not really involved in Olympic Games. So the majority of the population is involved in other types of sports. Uh, the second factor is that very often in India, sports is not a career path, uh, while in the Western countries, for example, it is. Parents very often support their children in uh, achieving a career in studying more than in, in sport. The third point is related to food habits. Uh, it has been studied, for example, that the typical Indian uh, diet that is pretty nice from a health perspective from uh, achieving a great result in sport uh, maybe is not uh, the best uh, option. However, this is more related to culture and tradition that, however, have a huge weight in the final results. Then there is also the managerial perspective and the project management perspective. If we compare the Indian model that you can read, for example, on the website of the Indian Olympic Association, you will notice that the model is completely different from the one on the UK. One UK set very strong and specific targets that it monitor the trajectory toward the targets, uh, in India the situation is more related to, let's say, support the sport from a cultural perspective. So it's more related to the social dimension of sport than more than achieving specific targets and specific results. So let's say there is also less competition is enforced and uh, supported. To conclude, three main questions. First, does India want to perform more at the Olympic Games? Because there is nothing bad if India doesn't want to. Second, are you ready? If so, are you ready for big changes and big challenges? Third, do you have a plan for that?